If you want to make an animated film, you'll have to build elements in two types of contexts. Assets and shots. Assets are the elements that go into shots, categorized in props, characters, vehicles, environments, and libraries. Shots are the individual sections of the animation, and they are usually just categorized in sequences. These assets and shots on itself are made of smaller tasks that build up to the complete element. Let's start with props, since they are usually the most basic type of elements. To make, for example, a chair in 3D, we need some concept art and references, a model where the things get sculpted or constructed, shaders where the objects get the surface properties and the materials it's made of. These are the tasks that make up the asset. And of course, an artist and a deadline, otherwise nothing gets done. It's important to think of this element we're building, the chair, as a deliverable. And then each of the tasks has individual elements that have inputs and outputs. For example, the input of the concept part is an idea and the output of it is an image. A model has an input of an image and then an output of a 3D file in various different formats. And some requirements, for example, UVs. And then the shading task has as an input a model and as an output a beautiful shader. If we follow this process, we get an asset of type prop and name share. Uh, share. Characters and vehicles are the actors and places where actors get in. Boats, helicopter, planes, etc. They're made with the same task as a prop, but in addition, they have a rig. The input of a rig is a modeling task, and the output is a file that the animators can articulate. Props, characters, and vehicles go inside environments. Environments are a collection of props organized in a layout. They as well follow the structure of a prop, but in addition, they have something called a scene description file. The scene description is the way we tell the computer what elements should be in our environment and where they should be located. The scene descriptions take in the position of each of the elements and output a text file with those locations and the name of the linked object. The most popular implementation of this is Pixar's USD, Universal Scene Description. The last type of assets are libraries. Think of them as the place where you store all your models, shaders, even setups for rigs and simulations. All these, let's call them presets, are stuff that you put in the library and then you retrieve it when you're building a shot or an asset. With all these assets, the next step is gonna be building up a shot. And that's what we're gonna be tackling next. So, if you like the subject and the presentation, please consider subscribing, I'd love to have you around. Episode two of Samurai Sushi is also on its way. If you really like this video, then you should check out What's a 3D Object and all the other videos on the channel, of course. My name is William Windmill, and that was our video on assets. See you on the next one.